everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, this is a follow-up tutorial to um, the PS4 bypass. Um, and a lot of you have been commenting um, that you don't see the network address where I originally showed you. Um, so here I'm going to show you uh, what you can do to change your MAC address. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the registry editor. Now what I'm going to tell you right now is that the registry editor is editing uh, the most important parts of your computer. Um, so take great care in using this and editing it here. So the first thing that you want to go to do is when you're in your command prompt type in get back. What this is going to do is this is going to get all the network information uh, on your computer. Now as you can see here I've got a bunch of different ones on here um, and essentially what all the ones that says media disconnected um, those are my VPNs and such. I'm going to go to the registry editor and you're going to go to HK local machine system control set 001 control and then you're gonna have a bunch of these things pop up and you know it might seem like a lot um, it might seem like a lot of uh, stuff that you that you just can't comprehend it is quite easy and I'm going to show you how to get to where you're, what you're looking for Okay, next, once you're in the control folder, what you're going to do is you're going to go to click on class. And this is mean this is going to pop all this stuff up. And this is this might confuse you right here. But what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into your CMD. And this is the main thing right here. This is your transport ID right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. Just copy that. And so I'm going to go to class, right click, and find. And then I'm going to find that specific value and find it and it brought me right here so instead of me finding it by going into each um, folder and and looking for what I'm looking for as you can see you know it has a bunch of folders within each folder um, so this is basically just having the computer doing the hard work so once you're in here exactly what you're going to need to do as you can see here network address it may have one and, and this is for I'm obviously on a wired connection um, if you do this and you bring up the MAC address this is going to be obviously the connection that I'm on right now with my wired connection I'm not on a wireless connection because of the fact that um, the wireless connection here sucks for computers so I have wired my computer. This is a wired connection. Now, if you are on a wireless connection, it's going to show something different. And you can uh, obviously go to your Wi-Fi um, and then details, and then match that up with the details of your wireless connection. Um, once you have that done, and and you search up that wireless connection, obviously I have a network address here because I'm good and ready to go. Um, and no problems with my internet connection but if you can't like say in the last video change your MAC address the way I showed you you can go into this registry editor this network address and you can right click not right click you can double click the network address and then the value data right there you can go ahead and change that and then once you change that uh, you can click OK, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to this Wi-Fi. You're going to disable it, and then double-click or right-click, and then click Re-enable. Then after you've done that, you have successfully changed your MAC address. If you have any questions, uh, need any help, uh, go ahead. Like I said last time, go into the comments, um, and I'll try to help you. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Hope you have fun. Um, and see you all later. Peace out.